traffic. Hey, Jack. Uh, got you out of bed. Huh. I have good and bad news. What should I start with? <clears throat> the good news. You're officially named investigating inspector in charge of this case. That's the good news. You'll receive the rogatory commission of the case in ten minutes by fax. I'll have it sent to Nolan's number. The bad news is that the old man didn't die from his fall. It's not an accident, Jack. You'll discover this yourself from the autopsy report. Yeah, I see. In fact, you've given me two pieces of bad news, Vic. I'll keep you posted. The helicopter should have come by last night to pick up the body. I just got a fax for you. Thanks, Noland. Mr. Noland, this rogatory commission henceforth gives me all the powers attached to an official investigator of this case. I would like you to pass on this information to everyone on this island. Apart from that, I need a key card that gives me access to all the rooms of this tower, without any exceptions. From now on, you're the boss, Inspector. But for the key card, you'll have to ask Lorenzo. He's the one responsible for that. Walter Jones was certainly murdered. The bullet in the middle of his chest didn't leave him a chance. So he was still alive after his fall from the edge. It's the impact of the bullet that made him fall lower down. What are the causes of Walter Jones?
dead from a bullet in the back that perforated his right lung. Hi, Reeves. The case is clear. Walter Jones was actually shot. The bullet went through his chest. We've got a murder on our hands, and I think that little hyena has nothing to do with any of this. I read the forensics report too, Jack. In my opinion, you should concentrate on the attorney. He was at the scene of the crime too, and he hasn't spit anything out yet. He's tough, this guy. Okay, good luck, Jack. Things are now simple. There's a murder. It's sufficient to find the murderer. They made some sort of arrangement, that's certain. Hmm, Jones was incredibly crafty, even with his own family. The ocean has covered the whole island. There's something on this windowsill. Well, well. Small bits of wood encrusted in the cement of the library windowsill. At present, no more laughing. I am the representative of judicial authority on this island, and I have a murder on my hands. The autopsy is categorical. Walter Jones died from a bullet wound in his back, and not as a result of his fall from the tortoise belvedere. With all the doubts stemming from the circumstances, Baina has nothing to do with the death. Nevertheless, I would love to have your point of view on this. I'm extremely surprised by what you're telling me, Inspector. This means Baina couldn't have killed him by throwing him down from the top of the cliff. But you will admit, nothing proves that she didn't finish off poor Walter with a shot. And her father, old Colio, could very well have helped her. This... Tell me... What were you doing at the hour of the crime, around 11 p.m.? With all due respect, Inspector, let me remind you that I have already explained myself to you. Nolent, I know now that you were doing some smooth talking by letting me believe that you knew nothing about Walter Jones' plans for his estate. I don't like your making fun of me, Nolent. I acknowledge that I didn't tell you everything that I knew about Walter's feelings for his grandchildren, or for his plans for his estate. But you should know that I never advised Walter to go in this direction. I have a certain sense of family, Inspector. This letter dates back a while. Walter was still confiding in me at that time. If the heirs had thought of inheriting, it seems they're off to a rather rocky start. What do you think? I'll be frank with you, Inspector. Walter Jones was a man I esteemed and respected. But that Walter Jones of whom I speak disappeared long before his death. The truth is, that he lost all sense of reality after his terrible accident. The fact of having become handicapped and nailed to his wheelchair made him paranoid and subject to monstrous bouts of rage. Walter Jones became a predator, obsessed by the idea that his own heirs wanted to deprive him of his fortune. He turned into an ogre toward his own descendants. He did all the dirty things one can imagine. He stopped short of nothing to hurt them. 
And his last act was to manipulate them, to stop them from putting him legally under psychiatric care by making them believe that they'd inherit from him. I knew that no will existed in their favor, but what could I have done? You should know, Inspector, that Jones considered Sonia and Billy to be a pair of good-for-nothings. And if he believed briefly in Marco, in the end he concluded that the latter was a failure too, because he refused to break off with Christina, whom Walter believed to be an unscrupulous gold digger. Do you know if Walter Jones was wearing something around his neck on the night of his death? That evening, I have to admit I didn't pay attention, Inspector. But uh, he usually wore a sort of chain around his neck. Thank you for the information. Not bad, Mr. Jones. Nice little safari for the entire Jones family. Strange, these drawers are closed and there is no obvious keyhole. Strange, these drawers are closed and there is no obvious keyhole. This is not possible. The caliber of this ammunition is not the same as that of the bullet that was found in Walter Jones's body. This box of cartridges of the 270 Winchester short magnum is open and it is missing cartridges. 7.03 millimeter caliber. Just like the bullet that killed Jones. I only have to find the weapon that could have shot this bullet. Ah, a 270 caliber Winchester short magnum. It's not 270 caliber Winchester. This rifle was used recently.
This rifle was used recently. No trace. Fingerprints on a weapon. This reeks of an amateur. The smooth wood of this weapon rubbed against a rugged surface. Strange, Mr. Jones, that a man as careful as you left such an ugly scrape on your beautiful rifle. The wood of the stock is still dripping with flax oil. Correct match. But why did you manipulate this rifle, Hubert de Noland? Incorrect match. Correct match. I will certainly be able to use this for something. A classic attempt at seduction. Thank you. 
What was the weapon of the crime? The bolted rifle with the scuffed body and eyepiece in Walter Jones's office is the weapon of the crime. Killed by one of his own weapons. How ironic. There's something on this windowsill. From where was the shot fired? The shot was fired from the window of Walter Jones's library. The shot was fired from the window of Walter Jones's library. Hey, I'm proud of you. Very good work, Jack. From 200 meters in the middle of a storm? Your murderer has to be a top-class shot to succeed with a shot like that. That's for sure. It's a real distance in the middle of the night, even if there was lightning. He's a master shot. This is not working.
Charming, these relationships between various members of the Jones family. Books on international law, Anglo-Saxon, and Maldivian law. Walter Jones left nothing to chance. Works on architecture, mainly about New York Art Deco buildings. Some books on Maldivian art, and here's a book on the works of Lorenzo Battaglieri. Mysteries, Agatha Christie, Conan Doyle, Nash Hammett, David Goodis, James Elroy, Good reading, Mr. Jones. Ah, we have Jules Verne. Beautiful original collection. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Round the world in 80 days. If only we had a hot air balloon to leave this tower. Books on economic and financial strategy. The library of a real businessman. All the ways of earning money while devouring your fellow creatures. Books on animal painters. Books on very different subjects. In English, in German, in French. There's a Spanish one here. That's strange for someone as organized as Walter Jones. Aha! Uh -huh. So, you had a secret penchant for the bottle, Mr. Jones. Not bad as a hiding place. Lorenzo, I got the rogatory commission along with all the powers that go with it. And I need a key card that opens all the doors in this tower. No problem. Here, take this. It belongs to an employee who had access to all the rooms in the tower. And then, find the guilty party as fast as you can, Inspector. Thanks, Lorenzo. Thank you. 
Walter Jones was murdered. So we stop joking and respond correctly to my questions. Everyone got that? This document seems to incriminate Noland. I'm wondering if you know something that is liable to contradict it? Mr. Jones was not about to confide in me on this matter, my dear Norm. But I came across Noland when he came out of the boss's office the afternoon of his death. And you should have seen his face. I'd never seen him in such a state. What you tell me doesn't surprise me. I can tell you that Noland is a real SOB. That he embezzled money from the pension funds of Jones's cement factory doesn't surprise me in the least. What did Walter Jones... This... This... What? The autopsy is categorical. Walter Jones died from a bullet wound in his back, and not as a result of his fall from the tortoise Belvedere. With all the doubts stemming from the circumstances, Baena has nothing to do with the death. Nevertheless, I would love to have your point of view on this. Oh, that's great news. Baena's cleared of all suspicion. It's fully to your credit that you recognized your mistake, Norm. I imagine that you weren't at all aware of the arm that was used in the crime, Inspector. What were you doing at the hour of the crime, around 11 p.m.? But I already told you, Norm. I hated Mr. Jones for what he did to Baena. But despite everything, I'm sorry for the death of the old man, believe me. I remember being surprised by Baena's violence. Even if I could understand that she was taking revenge for Jones's beastly brutality. After his fall, I came out of my hiding place to reassure Baena. I promised her that I would protect her. I was ready to give evidence that the old satyr had assaulted her again, but Baena pushed me away and fled to take refuge in her father's cabin. At that moment, I confess, I was convinced that she'd intentionally pushed him, that she'd ruminated over taking revenge against Jones, and that if she'd agreed to accompany her torturer on his stroll, it wasn't totally innocent. In fact, I thought maybe she was waiting for a chance to revenge herself, and now, Inspector, you're telling me that Baina is innocent. Oh, now I am sure that she must detest me for having thought her guilty. This man was a damn maniac. He seemed to fuss over these weapons with great diligence. Mr. Jones was a long-time hunter, Norm. And like all self-respecting hunters, he took great care of his guns. Tell me, you have an impressive sports record, Mr. Battaglieri. You haven't completely lost your touch, I suppose. I don't like your question, Inspector. I can see what you're getting at, you know. You don't have to worry, if you have nothing to reproach yourself for. I admit that I was a very respectable shot in my youth. But the taste for weapons has now passed, you see. Did Walter Jones wear this chain around his neck? I can corroborate that, Norm. It was this chain. What could this bottle of flax oil have been used for? This flax oil is used to take care of the stocks of the luxurious rifles belonging to my boss, Inspector. It's an absolutely sensational product for bringing out the veins in precious woods. For Do you know if Walter Jones was wearing something around his neck on the night of his death? I remember very well that Mr. Jones always wore his chain around his neck. Why would he have taken it off? It had the key to his room and to his safe hung from it. Do you know who in this tower knows how to use a gun? Apart from Walter Jones, I don't really know. Did you see anyone in the library the evening of the murder? You know perfectly well that I was not there, Norm. On the other hand, the computer ought to be able to tell us. All you have to do is ask it. But I have to know Mr. Jones's secret code. You understand, my boss didn't want cards assigned giving access to his office and his library without his consent. Do you have the code, Inspector? Sorry, but I don't have it. What a nuisance. Oh, but wait. I know that Jones hid the code in his desk. Unfortunately, I don't know precisely where. Mm-hmm. I'll take note of it. <laughs>